So, you know, with H-1Bs, and again, we're in Silicon Valley, so this has a particularly large impact on the ecosystem here, but the Trump administration basically imposed a new fee on H-1B petitions. I think it started on September 21st, where every new petition well, now the fee has now gone up to 100K. And just to give a frame of reference for people who aren't as aware about H-1Bs, which basically allow people to work in the U.S. from other countries, those, used, those petitions used to be 2 to 5K. So it's basically like a, like a 20X increase from, from where they were, uh, which is pretty, pretty insane. So who does this hit the most? Well, tech companies are, have been particularly hit with these, will be particularly impacted by these, by these fees. Think of the Amazons and Microsofts, Metas. And the shockwaves, I mean, it can't be understated. And some of you probably actually saw some of the videos of people who were on the plane about to head back home to India and China, other places, and literally jumped off the plane, not off of the plane, but disboarded the plane so that, yeah, because over concern of this new, over this new law. And what economists are saying now with, with the, basically the fallout from this is it could spark a huge brain drain from the US to other countries. Think about, you know, it's such a huge fee. People going to Canada, people going to Europe, other places, which could slow US innovation and growth. A lot of folks who are coming here are tremendous skill within realms of computer science, AI, et cetera, that are just super talented, happen to be from outside the US and basically are creating a much higher barrier to, to bring those folks in. But I think it's important to be stated, you know, employers must already prove that H-1B hires don't hurt US workers. So like these are people who are typically coming in who are very skilled and a lot of critics are saying, hey, this is just Trump, you know, further weaponizing immigration policies. But for Silicon Valley, for folks out here in the tech space and, and people interested in this ecosystem, this is a huge, this, provide, this presents a huge risk to overall Silicon Valley ecosystem and could land AI tech leadership to, you know, rivals outside of the US, again, like Canada, Europe, and China.